when the Spanish discovered America, it took them decades to haul the gold from South America to Spain and Europe. Um, and that goal has been the basis for the economic system for hundreds of years. Yeah. Okay. I wasn't sure how you really did it. I thought you were going to come and pick it up. Now we have a different situation where there may be a precious metal that is taking the place of gold, plutonium or uranium, or it may be exclusively refined plutonium. Plutonium man. The ancient Mayans used chocolate as gold, money, their monetary system. And it grows on trees uh, until there was a fungus that took out the chocolate plant. Chocolate now is grown in Africa. The point is, anything could be used in a monetary system. The monetary system currently is becoming a verb. Uh, so you have inequity between exchange systems. There may come a time when a noun, an idea, is used for the global monetary system. And that idea may be something like plutonium and the ability to work plutonium metal into some machine. Um, and the, uh, the, the Industrial Revolution produced a temporary advantage for some leading to a search for a new monetary system. The information age has brought about more of an equalization force. If you go to a chat room, everybody is just their name that they type in the chat room. Everyone's equal. And that is more of a metaphor for the entire effect of the computer networks. So all these forces may bring about a change in the economic system.